my hand. I've been waiting for you. Hello everyone, Ellie Pop Dragon here. I just want to like address that this outfit is good, but the white fox is not the same shade of whiteness as like my horse. So that's what makes it a little weird. But that's okay. So I figured today we're just gonna we're just gonna do a bit of talking. Like you can train, you can like really you can really do whatever. I just want to make just make a longer let's chat um and first i want to ask a little bit of something so um i'm sure that most of you know but in case you don't unfortunately violet flower garden did pass away and I kind of said what I wanted to say last video at the beginning. I don't really want to touch on this subject because I didn't know her personally. So it's not like I could say, a, like, give a bunch of deeper moments about her. Because I didn't know her, but I am, <laughs> I don't know, her content was just so good. And I know that we're all going to really miss her and there's going to be this huge gap in the SSO community for like forever which is really sad I don't I don't want to go too deep into that but anyway so I thought to commemorate her I would definitely want to buy a horse and name it after her I'm not going to buy it this video but I was thinking of buying this snowflake dapple gray american paint horse because i know she really really liked this horse i was thinking of getting the cromello akultake or akultique I, I don't know how to pronounce it but um i'm not like she that was definitely the mascot of her channel but i saw her ride this one more and i am also thinking maybe i'll get the a little Yorvik pony that looks like this that she named was it Lila? Lacey it was Lacey yeah there we go um just to like commemorate her and have a little something so I'll do that in a different video but in the meantime we are going to be training Knight and he's level 14 he's so close and I think we'll max him in this video and if we do, I might have to go grab another horse depending on how long this video is. But anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit. So I want to talk a little bit about what happened. Um, like I just had like a little fun experience while I was on a lease ride this Sunday. <laughs> and I just want to talk about it. So... The horse that I rode, um, let's give her a name. That's not her real name, even though it wouldn't really matter. I want to give her a nickname. Let's 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 maybe let's do blue. I don't know. She has blue eyes, so uh, yeah, let's go with that. So the horse that the mare I was riding, let's just call her Blue. She is usually like really really sweet, really calm. You know nothing nothing like outrageous she like i've never fallen off of her nothing and <laughs> i was at a lease ride i was riding her without my trainer and you know i wasn't jumping i wasn't doing any of that with my trainer's permission let me let me let me just make sure that you guys know that so i was riding her without my trainer but i still had my instructor's permission to ride her and it was all great okay it was fine she was doing super well it was nice out it was about 10 a.m um and it was like 40 degrees out so it was a little bit chilly but i it, i don't think it's cold enough for her to be like fresh fresh so when we were warming up like walk trot it was completely fine she was she was doing great and then when we started cantering <laughs> she got i don't know if it was because she was slightly gate sour or if she was in heat or i don't really know what it is 
but um she just like whenever we went downward towards the gate because the the field it's not a field but the <laughs> arena that i that is like the jump arena is like made from a field they just took all the grass out and it's a little bit flatter but still has that little downward part it's not like anything huge just like a very 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 small curve to the hill it's very gentle and i don't know if it was like the combination of momentum plus her maybe being a little barn sour which i've never had that issue with her before and also her being possibly in heat she like might have gotten a little bit i don't know what, how to say it like excited or maybe anxious and she like started cantering really really fast downhill and the first there were two other horses in the arena so i did not want to run into them uh-uh so the first time i was like okay you know maybe she just has a spurts of energy she needs to get it out whatever that's that's okay by me i can i can ride that that's fine but then she would just purposefully run run right through my fingers every single time that we went downward towards the gate but going up she was completely fine so so then i was like maybe we should do some circles so that she has to so that like she really has to work around my inside leg and you know she she can't think about going fast too much because we're also you know always turning and bending so she can't like run away from me and I did try that and it kind of worked but she kept falling through like she, whenever we made a whenever we started like turning away from the gate she just she wanted to fall like right back into the trot she like did not want to stay in the canter so i was like you know what this like just it's not really working like she didn't run away with me but we just didn't have a well balanced nice canter so i was like okay um maybe i'll just i don't i don't i don't really know what to do maybe i'll maybe after this circle exercise she'll be a little bit better so i tried cantering her on the flat with like no no circle and she she took off and i was half halting i was like sitting deep in my seat i was like girl please please don't do this <laughs> please i i don't feel like falling off today so she kept bolting and then there was this like my first like idea was like okay circle her get her to slow down get her to bend you know etc um and so <laughs> there was this tree and i was like i'll just bend around the tree and it's it was i wasn't planning to make like a super tight circle oh missed that one um or anything like that like there was this tree it was like you know a regular size it's like at the very corner of the field i don't really know how to say it like it's not like right next to the fence but there's like a little piece so like let me try to explain this to you guys so basically there is this this tree was like in the corner but it was inside of like the rail where you like go you, like you would go around the tree if you were taking the outside rail but you could cut the corner and go um to the inside of it as well so it's like if this were real life it was probably as big as this like compared to me probably a little bit thinner than that but like roughly that's how big it was maybe actually it was probably more like this one so if it was if this was real life it was probably about this big so i was like you know i'll just 
turn a little bit, get her to slow down. I'm not gonna like make a super tight turn around it, but I'm just gonna go, you know, several feet out and just give myself like a little something to turn, base it off of, like focus on. So I did <laughs> and Blue literally barrel raced around that thing. Like she, she did not stop cantering. She continuously, like she made a really tight circle around it and then flew up and she did not stop cantering. And I was like, okay, <laughs> that didn't work. So I wasn't sure if maybe she slipped a little bit or she was probably just frustrated with me. And that was like fair enough because I wasn't sure what to do. Like my first instinct was, okay, slow her down, right? And that's what I was trying to do, but she wasn't slowing down. So then she bucked and I was like, <laughs> okay, this is getting a little out of hand, but it was fine. I stayed on and then she like bolted away. And the issue was, was that I was in no position to fall off. I couldn't just slide off of the side because I still had my syrups in, I still had like a nice seat and it wasn't like horrible. I wasn't hanging on for dear life. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't ha literally hanging on. I still had a seat in the saddle and I still had my stirrups in. So I finally, finally got her to just stop. And then I was, not really sure what to do after that my mom was there because i'm not because you know if i were to get hurt i need somebody there to make sure that they can call like 911 or something so you know my mom was there you know there always has to be somebody there who isn't just the rider so uh my mom was there and she was she said okay well also, my mom has ridden in the past, in case you're wondering. Um, she had a couple horses when she was much, like, many, many years ago when she was young. Um, so, she had, I don't know, like, she, she was just, like, just get the adrenaline out, do some trotting, serpentines, just, just to get the adrenaline rush out. And I was like, okay. So, I did a little bit of trotting around. But every single time we were like facing the downhill straight away towards the gate, she would just run right through my fingers and get really fast. And she never broke into canter, but I was still like, this is, this is just not good. So then, thank goodness, one of the other people there that was in the arena suggested that we do some pole work exercises like stars or just set up a bunch of intricate like pulled working and designs and stuff so and that's what i did and it ended up going fine like we did the house which is like four four like a square of poles and then we did a little triangle on top and that was, I'm so glad that that person just suggested it because she was just so, like, Blue was just so mentally focused on the poles that she didn't have time to think about the running away. And she couldn't because the poles were there. So, yeah, that was an experience to say the least. Um,. <laughs> And oh, I meant to press X and that did not that did not happen. So anyway, I have my lesson tomorrow and I'm going to talk to my trainer about it. You know, it's gonna be a learning experience for me, for blue. We're all gonna like make sure that everything's okay. We couldn't see anything the day that we rode. And I just she's kind of been acting like blue about three or four weeks ago she kind of did the same thing but it wasn't to this extent she was still kind of rushing downhill but it wasn't quite as bad as this so i think she's kind of slowly been building like getting faster and faster and i've just like not thought much about it so then she's like taking advantage because i just 
keep thinking, oh, well, you know, it's probably like just like she just has a lot of energy today. She's just fresh or whatever. So then she just kind of takes advantage of that. And I haven't talked to my trainer about it because, well, so the week that it occurred, I didn't have time to talk to my trainer because she was <laughs> talking to another person while I was like warming up. And then, you know, we got to doing all the lesson stuff. And then let's check the front. And then the second week, I didn't have a lesson. And then the, the, the next week, which was this past week, we did a bunch of groundwork stuff. And um, there was also three people in my lesson instead of like, oh, why did I go into the trailer? So there was three people in my lesson, which is more than usual. So, you know, there was a lot going on in that lesson. So, and I never thought that it was that big of a deal. I thought it was just like a one-time thing because that one time that it really, that it happened a couple weeks ago, um, that wasn't quite as bad as this. Um, that was like, I haven't been able to ride outside since then. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I'm definitely going to ask my trainer about it and we're just we're just gonna see what's going on anyway i ranted about that for like a a long time sorry about that but <laughs> anyway i'm gonna move on to a different subject so just like as a real quick moral like i have bad days everybody has bad days whether it's in the equestrian world or like whatever whatever you're doing you're always gonna have a bad day and it's not gonna go to plan and you're just gonna feel crummy but it's okay hopefully this hopefully this um tomorrow today's tuesday that i'm recording it but hopefully wednesday we get it all sorted it's all good um but yeah we'll see so no i can't get out of it these cows i feel like this these cows like specifically the cows are like really really hard to maneuver i don't know how to say that i'm gonna talk to my trainer about that it's fine we'll we'll see what's happening but anyway where should we go let's go to moreland stables no not jeff's spurs i am currently on server watermelon beach in case you didn't know and a lot of you guys have just been coming up and saying hi and it's so sweet like if you ever see me in game, unless I'm AFK, I will say hi back. I really appreciate it when you guys come up to me. I I hope I don't come off as scary to to the people that I've met. I don't I don't intend to come off as mean or scary. <laughs> that would be bad. So if you want to say hi, 100% do. What, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Ugh. I always miss this one. Why? Can we just like replay that? Did I actually miss that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, this video is getting a little bit long, but I want to finish all of the Moreland races. So I'm going to do that. Also, it's only been like two days since I uploaded the Morgan horse spoilers and it already has like... 300 views and i'm just a little bit like i didn't know you guys liked that so much <laughs> like you guys oh i still have one more race oh we're so close to maxing the source i didn't know that you guys liked watching me react to new horse spoilers like that's that's cool i counted out my horses and last week in my video i think i said i had 35 but i actually have 40 so like oh i also think i've been i think i said last video that i've only been playing the game for like maybe a year but that's actually not true why did i slow down um i've actually been playing for almost two years i didn't realize how much time had passed um and i'm still only level 17 like i'm so close i need to make a questing video where where i finally level up to level 18 i'm really excited about that actually yeah so yeah 
that's hopefully gonna come out soon but I have 40 horses I don't I just I don't understand how people contain themselves I just I don't get it there are so many horses that I want really bad and I'm thinking about making an alt account where I can just like buy um horses that I like but I don't feel the need to train them because in this account I feel like I do have to train all the horses and then if I get horses on my alternate account then it's like well if I really like them <gasps> yay we max this horse yay if I like them then I can choose to buy them on my like actual account my my real account anyway so that's all for today I literally ranted about my lease ride on Sunday for like <laughs> so long I set myself a 20 minute timer I set. I usually set a 15 minute timer but this one I set at 20 minute because I want it to be a longer type video although it's probably like 30 minutes by now and it's gonna take me a long time to edit but that's okay and then <laughs> by the time I finished talking about my little rant about my lease ride I had like three minutes to go so I literally took like 17 minutes and just ranted about that so that was that was a lot but yeah this was basically just a rambling session so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then please oh that's the wrong way <laughs> if you did then please like and subscribe for more content like this live laugh live life Bye. Should we?